Hi everybody, it's Joanne from Joanne Ralston Art. I'm still down here making a mess, playing, and I wanted to try one more thing. It's midnight, so I wanna clean up and get ready for bed. But I wanna try one more thing. While I got all these paints mixed up, um, we got these cups um, when we went to FAB, Fluid Art Boutique in Sterling, Virginia. Then, of course, they're having it again in October 8th, 9th, and 10th in Florida, in Delray, Florida. So if you want to go to Florida, go to Fluid Art Boutique dot com and check out what's going on there's a lot of great artists going to be there and people you might want to meet and see and take a class from Ooh, there were spiders in there let's get them boogies out i don't want those spider things in there but anyway i've got just a little canvas uh 11 by 14 and I'm not going to fill this up, obviously. And I have the pour that I learned from Sarah Mack at the Fluid Art Boutique in Sterling, Virginia. I want to do that again because I need to. Um, I've got a collaboration coming up and... I've got to figure out which pour I'm going to do, and it's between three, and this is one of them. So I want to just try a little mini, and not even the colors that I would be using, but the colors that I already have mixed up, and see what happens. So what we're going to do is I have... Amsterdam's titanium white with some deco art satin enamel in it. And I'm going to be using some of that. Ooh, that needs stirred. And then I've just kind of got a, an array of colors that are mixed up or need used up that I'm gonna layer in there. And I'm gonna try to do a tree ring. And I wanna see how well this cup does. And uh, so I thought I would share it with you and we'll see how this cup works. And for a big canvas, if this cup works good, this would be an awesome cup. So, and of course, it's from fluidartco. Dot, and you can find them online just under that name. And they're the ones that have this little piggy, and they're the ones that have the silicone mats that everybody's got, and so forth. So, anyway. Let's get started. I am going to bring you down to the canvas. I want to start first with the titanium white that has the um, <laughs> there goes my brain. It has the Deco Art Satin Enamel. And then from there, I want to squirt some of my 24 karat gold in there. And then let's see what color. Let's start with 
this little piggy sapphire. And then let's go with uh, golden teal. It's teal by golden. And then let's go with I haven't used this before and I mixed it up. I'm kind of messing my thing up. This is that quinacra quinacridone. I don't think I need much in it. Um, Azo Gold from Golden. And then I'm just kind of going to do an array of colors. This is Parage Posse Moe's Shimmering Eggplant. I really like it. And I kind of want to put a little yellow in there. Oh, and I need to put some green. Since I painted the sides green, we're going to use a lot of colors. Oh, well. And then the green that is around the edge is Windsor Newton Permanent Green uh middle so i guess it's the middle shade and i think that's all i'm going to use because that's already a pretty full cup for that um canvas. Like I said, I just kind of want to test my waters and see what I need to do and what I need to learn plus use this cup. And I'm going to pour from my pie. I want some more of this white in there. And I probably should have poured higher. But anyway, we did it. And then I'm just going to tree ring it. Let's see what we get. It ought to be interesting. I know I can tree ring easier with this cup. I usually have a really hard time tree ringing. Probably should have left that Azo Gold out. But, oh well. The colors come out pretty. can tree ring much better with this cup. So that's a plus for me. Wonder why I can do it better with this than I can a regular cup. Maybe it's the handle or the spout. What do you think? Dismount. Ooh, look at the pretty cup. Oh, almost dripped on the painting. We don't want to do that. 
Okay. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. Let me swirl my middle. Oh, you know what I want to do, too? Oh, I think it would be cool. I saw a girl. Oh, I can't remember who it was. But she did swirls all the way out. It kept getting bigger and bigger. bigger and made a design oh that looks cool I might be doing tree rings more often. Cool. Oh, I like. I like it, I like it. Let's get the white. And let's do a little flow extender. Oh, I put the cup right in the bottom of it. Hopefully that part will go off. Spread it out. All right. Let's tilt this baby out. See what we get. Bring it back, take it down, and go ahead and take it off. Because that's the one part I don't want to lose much of. Bring it down. I like it. Bring it over to this corner. And bring it back. And let's take it back down to this corner. Oh, my hands are giving out on me. Oh. Okay, let's get our... I think I want to bring it back down to this corner a little bit more. Take some of that paint off. And then... Oh, I'm having an awful time with holding it. Oh, let me set her down. Oh, 
Oh, she's pretty. Oh, we might spin it. Let me get some of this off my hands. All right, let's spin it. Let's see if it, how much things move. Okay, we've done good. It stopped moving. Oh, uh, what do you guys think? Is it not beautiful? Oh, it's so beautiful. I was just winging it and just throwing in colors. And I really like it. I just wanted to see what that cup would do. And it did awesome. Then I remembered that design and it did awesome. Wow. Okay, well you know me, I won't pick it up because to bring it up close, cause I always botch it. I pick it up one time and clean the bottom and put it on the table to dry. So all I can say is thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. You're awesome. And stay tuned for dry results. Love ya. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Here we are for dry results. As you know, I started out with a totally different pour in mind. And then when I got to straightening up my center, I remembered a design that I saw somebody do. And I went crazy and wanted to try it. And I think it's pretty cool. Look at the lines. We've got lots of lines. We've got lots of cells. The colors. The loops. Where I just started in the center and started circling out. And I think it really did a nice job. just beautiful so I think I'm gonna do this again where I can do it on a bigger canvas and use that same pouring cup I really like that cup and see what I can create on a big canvas but anyway She's a pretty. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated. Um, please hit that thumbs up and share it. Comment if you would and give me some feedback, what you think or some things you'd like to see. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. I love you. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Take care. Take care of you. Spread the love. And spread the love of art. Bye-bye. Until next time.